Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in the last video, we built a React Redux application from scratch. So if you have missed that video, then you can click on the card above and jump to it directly. And now in this video, we will see how we can deploy our React application from GitHub repository to Netlify in less than five minutes. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm having the same application which we built in our last video and I'm running this application on the local host. So let's see. And yeah, so this is the uh, application which we build. And if I click on any of the product, then we fetch the product details. And if I click on the back, then we can see the product listing. So now we want to deploy this application on the Netlify. So let's go to the Netlify website. So this is the Netlify website. And first thing we need to do is we need to create an account. So if you have any of the uh, accounts, the GitHub or GitLab Bitbucket or not, then the email address and you can create your account. So I already have the GitHub account. So I'm just going to click on the GitHub. So I already have the account with the Netlify and this account is linked with my GitHub account. So if we want to deploy a new website on the Netlify, so we can click on the new site from the Git. But right now our code is on our local machine and it is not on the GitHub repository. So let's go to the GitHub and let's create a new repository. So I'm going to click on the new and I'm going to name it as React Redux Tutorial. All right, and then I'm going to create a new repository. So our repository is created. Now let's link the local repository with the remote repository. So I'm going to copy this and I will go to the Visual Studio code and inside the terminal, let's open the terminal. All right, so now we have the terminal and this is our code. I will just clear the console and I will paste the. So I have now linked it and if I want to see, I can do a git remote hyphen V and it should give me the repository which is linked with my local repository and now we just need to push our code so let me do a get status and i am not having anything to commit so i have already committed everything so let's do a get push and we need to set the upstream so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to add it all right, so this is going to push our code in the GitHub repository. And once we have our code in the GitHub repository, then we can link it in the Netlify account and we can deploy the website. All right, so now our code is now pushed to the GitHub repository. And now let's go to the GitHub repository and see that we have our code or not. So I'm going to just refresh the page and I can see my code is available in the GitHub repository. And now we can actually use this in the Netlify. So if I go to the Netlify website and let's do a new website. So I'm going to do a new site from the Git. And here you can see that there are three steps. First, we connect to a Git provider, which is the, for our case is the GitHub. Then we are going to pick the repository, which is having the code, which we need to deploy it. And then it does the build option and deploy the website. So I'm going to click on the GitHub. And from the GitHub, it is going to give me the list of repositories that are available. So what I will do, I'm going to click on search repository. And here I'm going to type my repository. So our repository name is the uh, React Redux tutorial. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add it here. And I'm going to hit enter. So I cannot see, so I will do a configure Netlify on GitHub. So now here we can go and we can do all repositories and we can save it. All right, so now it's showing us the React Redux tutorial. So this is the repository which we want to deploy on Netlify. So I'm going to select that. And inside that we have all the code in the main branch. So what is going to do is in the build setting, it is going to do a yarn build, which is going to minify all the files and combine all the files. And it is going to create a build folder. If you have in your project, you have some of the environment variables, then you can link the environment variables here. You can click on the show advance and you can add the variables. Like you have the API keys, which you want to add as an environment variable. So all the stuff you can add it. And if you don't have, then you don't need to add anything. And now if I click on the deploy site, then it is going to deploy my website. So here you can see that the site deploy 
is in progress. So we just need to wait for a few moments and it is going to deploy the site. So if I click here, then we should be able to see the logs and here we can find out all the errors that we are encountering. And if everything goes well, then it should be completed. So let's wait for a moment and now it's doing the resolving packages, fetching the packages and it's going to take some time. So let's wait for it. All right, so now our deployment is complete and if we see then we can see that it compiled successfully the yarn build and then the site is deployed successfully and now we can try and access this website. So let's go to the uh, back here and this is what our website uh, endpoint is. So if I click on it, then we should be able to see our uh, fake shop application. So we can also change the uh, the URL which we want. So if we go here and here, if I go to the overview of the site, I will click on the site settings and here I can change the site name. So I can change this to demo fake shop. All right, I will save it. And now I will get a new endpoint. And if I click on it, then this is my new endpoint demo fake shop dot Netlify dot app. So this is how easy it is and if I click on any of the product then I will be able to see the product and the URL changes to the uh, product detail URL. Alright if I click on back I will be again on my home page and if I click on the product I will be able to see the product details. So one more thing is uh, good about the Netlify is that now our uh, application is linked with the GitHub repository. So what we will do is whenever now you create or make any changes and you push your code on the GitHub, then Netlify will automatically detect the changes and it's going to make a new bill and your changes will be updated on your uh, Netlify website. So that's all I have in this video. I hope you like the video and now you can create your own React application and you can deploy it on Netlify in less than five minutes and you can share the URL with your friends to showcase your React application. So I hope you like the video. A thumbs up is appreciated. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter for latest updates. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. Thank you. Thanks for watching.